week two of my challenge. Um, today being Monday. Monday uh, during my gambling stage was a very rough day. It was a day where you'd had a weekend of gambling, uh, feeling really flat and what am I going to do? How am I going to find money? Monday was about how to rustle up some money to pay some bills and put food on the table and that for my family. Uh, these days, weekends are spent with my family, uh, stress free, able to enjoy that time. Um, I really enjoy that aspect of life now. Diary entry for today is about the flow on effect that my gambling um, has on my family especially my children you always think about you know how it affects yourself and the shame and the guilt that you have for, you know things you did and the financial you know pressures that you brought upon yourself and how you harmed yourself um, but the flow on effect of that that I see on a daily basis is the effect that it has on my wife and now my two children. There is a feeling sometimes that that maybe, you know, they'd be better off with a different parent or a different husband. But I think about, you know, uh, one big win will solve all that. That was the old me, that was that was my thought process but I can I can fix this I can fix this with just one big win or you know um, things will get better you know I'll get some money I'll do this I'll do that and regrettably you end up in a bigger deeper hole than what you started in and it's not until the dust settles and and you have that um, clear mind more clearer mind than what you had in your gambling haze that you survey the damage and you see the effect that it has on your your loved ones last night actually had a dream about gambling it just shows that two and a half years down the track uh, <laughs> my mind still tries to play tricks on me um, yeah the whole process and whole process of gambling and I found myself in a TAB in the dream and you know that that that's just a sign that um, you know I'm never too far away I'm only one bit away from being back down the same destructive path you know I go to Gamblers Anonymous meetings where people have been there 10 15 years even some that have been there four or five years that have slipped up so I definitely don't want to do that I just need to keep on the right track, keep doing the right things, be honest, which is a big thing, um, and just live my life one day at a time.